Hey y'all, and welcome to the Sprinkle Factory YouTube channel where we cover everything culinary. This is Chef Sprinkle and I'm back with another delicious recipe. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join our Sprinkle Squad. Now normally this is when I would enter the title of the dream you guys, but it's so beautiful I got so overwhelmed I need your help. I want you to comment down below uh, what you would call this drink and two things are going to happen. I am going to pick someone with the best freaking name and shout them out on the instagram page for the sprinkle factory and the second prize make sure you guys tune in till the end of the video to see what that would be so let's go ahead and get started with our drink super super simple y'all we're going to start with ice and then um, we're going to do some lemon lime kool-aid um, drink mix so this drink is super super refreshing especially for the summer the watermelon ciroc y'all is so freaking delicious by itself so just adding these different elements literally um, you might get addicted to these so we're going to go ahead and add in some simple syrup and that is going to sweeten it up. Of course, as you know, that Kool-Aid needs some assistance in the sweet area. It is pretty sour and bitter. So make sure you put in enough simple syrup and I'm going to put the link somewhere where you guys can see where we made simple syrup before on this channel. Um, however, it's really simple. Equal parts sugar, water, heat it up until it melts, cools, cool it down and you're ready to go. So once we do this, we are going to add in some Hennessy. This is a shocker because I think people only thought that um, we were going to be using Ciroc, but the bottom layer does have Hennessy, so you definitely have to be careful with this one. Um, so it depends on what kind of party you have it. Um, but we are going to go ahead and add in some sliced kiwi again just this keeps getting more refreshing more freaking delicious um, I was going to wait on putting this video out but I posted it on Instagram and Facebook and it's literally going crazy everywhere so I'm going to make sure that I get it out for you guys tonight um, so the green layer is done again y'all super simple uh, we talked the whole time and half of it was about the recipe and half of it was um pretty much anything we want to talk about so the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to begin the layering process now the layering process is so simple it really doesn't get any uh simpler than this i have those two um really cute fish bowls y'all i got them right at walmart no freaking big deal in the craft area and i think they're super super cute to um just be a little bit different when serving your guest drinks so i'm going to put about i'd say a cup about a cup of the green layer you definitely want less green than you do red um only so it simulates the watermelon rind and you know you get the cool effect um but anyway on to the watermelon layer y'all so we have the ice we definitely want to put in some fresh watermelon so we get that fresh taste as well as the taste that's in the ciroc here um add as little as you want add as much as you want y'all i'm not going to <laughs> listen okay again it depends on what kind of party you have it I'm in for the night, so I am going to, um, you know, put, put, put enough to taste, you know. Um, but other than that, y'all, um, we're going to put some of this watermelon daiquiri mix, and we're going to use a little grenadine. Not too much flavor in the grenadine, just more so for color. And while I'm doing this, the green layer is in the freezer. So when you're making your red layer, make sure your green layer is setting in the freezer so that this way... Um, you're able to easily layer the red on top of it so it's not blending um, too much. But yeah, pretty simple, y'all. That was it. Pretty much everything that we need in this drink is already in it and we're done. Um, but we are going to put two, oh my God, this is my favorite part, two look like watermelon freaking seeds are frozen blueberries. And for this part, since it's my favorite, let's slow it down with a slow-mo. Just like that, y'all. Super simple. Um, and it really looks like the freaking watermelon seeds. I don't know why this is so exciting to me. But I was just thinking one day, I was like, I really want to make this drink. Let's make it green. Let's make it red. And I was like, well, we're missing watermelon seeds. What can I use? And...
I literally looked in the refrigerator and the blueberries were freaking in there and I was like this is perfect so let's put these in the freezer and freaking put them in the drink y'all and it really does look like watermelon seeds and a little tip at the end of your drink the blueberries are fully saturated with the vodka and the Hennessy so they are an extra treat um, but as you guys see I am just going to layer these drinks up and we'll be done. Really simple, y'all. What I've done is I just garnished it with some little triangles of watermelon, some kiwi. Um, and you guys could have, I just decorated the board because I had a few strawberries, but you literally could have thrown the strawberries in with the red layer as well, just to give it more flavor. Um, but that is it. I really, really, really need y'all's help. I want to name this, but I'm just so in love with it. And I'm like battling with myself because i don't know which name is worthy but i want you guys to drop your name ideas in the comments um and i will be responding to everyone and of course picking an amazing name i'm very indecisive you guys so i probably will be picking more than one person but don't worry um but other than that just like that you guys um Make sure that you serve these poolside, girls' night, slumber party, make version uh, drinks so that you can serve them to the kids. They're really super, super fun. Just no alcohol, of course. But of course, the second prize for the person who comes up with the best name uh, will also be getting their very own bottle of Just a Sprinkle all-purpose seasoning. As my grandma would say, this is finger licking time. Like, comment, subscribe, share with all of your friends. Don't forget to comment your name down below. And as always, y'all, I love y'all. Thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.